Ladies and gentlemen, children of the interwebs out there, Sebastian Envy, strong style, cinephile, and even actor, Purple Rain, one half a year reigning, defending MPX tag team champions, of course. So, Titans is here. Now, HBO Max dropped three episodes of it. Um, we're going to take it one by one. And, uh, yeah, so let us geek about it for a scan, scan, a few minutes. Now, this episode, this season has a lot hanging over it. It's got baggage from the first two seasons of just, uh, just baggage with the team, um, and the characters, but also just baggage of the creative process, at least to me, in my eyes, where they just haven't stuck the line. There's been potential for this show and these characters, because how many of us, like, who doesn't love the Titans and the idea of the Titans and seeing the Titans in action, live, like, live action form? But just the execution of it was just piss poor in the first season, a little better in the second season, but still it wasn't where the show could be. So you take all that, and then you have the, the specter of the Red Hood hanging over the season, specter of them bringing in Barbara Gordon, and then you have Starfire, is her plot's going to be a point in this. So how are they going to juggle all this with just... <laughs> Just how poorly they've handled other stuff, you know. So it, there's a lot going into this. Now, after the first episode, I can say that I was um, surprisingly pleased by how this episode went and just the um, just how things were going uh, on a couple fronts. Now, it's of course within the first couple minutes of the show, they have to remind you this is this is adult, this is gritty, this is grounded. We can swear and drop f bombs every other word. Um, so that's the thing. I mean, it's whatever. I'm not a prude or anything. Um, I just don't think, like, the amount of F-bombery is exactly necessary. It's prudent to the plot. Um, I wouldn't like the characters less if they swore less. I just, I don't know. That's just me. Um, but in this episode, you have, we see the Titans doing Titan stuff, stopping a drug deal. Uh, you see Gizmo, which is funny. Um, and then you have Jason track down Joker, go off on his own being hard-headed, and get herself killed, and then we have this, uh, we're picking up the pieces from that. Uh, Dick is dealing with it his own way, it brings him back to Gotham to confront Bruce, who's dealing with his own way, we get this, I guess, long-awaited, sort of cathartic conversation between Bruce and Barbara, who is dealing with some stuff. Apparently off-screen, we've had deaths of Alfred, as well as Commissioner Gordon, who, Commissioner Gordon, died after having a heart attack, after being frozen in a block of ice from Mr. Freeze. And you see a very uh, jaded, uh, bitter, angry Barbara, but also a kind of a very realistic one as far as just the toll. Like, we love all these comic book stories, but there is, if you, there has to be consequences to just what these people do, emotional, physical, you know, it takes a toll. And so you kind of see how this plays out, that not everything is sunshine and roses. And there have been attempts to kind of deconstruct the heroes and, and, and in different stories and different media and stuff like that and that's cool i know some people aren't a fan of it um i saw in some uh i think message board comments maybe on reddit or uh comment threads on maybe superhero hype where i saw somebody was saying they're tired of batman being deconstructed yada yada, yada. i didn't read the rest of it but unfortunately that's where we are with batman because when you do shows that involve batman who cannot be seen on like regular TV, not on the big screen. That's the only place they could have Batman. Because I think Batman would make an amazing just TV show, like a weekly TV show. And you could have it just a straight up action show. You could have it a procedural. You could have it like a, there's so many of the different genres you can mix episode to episode with a Batman series. But apparently, that's never going to happen. So we have just have them on the big screen, and then we have these instances where we have stuff that takes place in Gotham or in with characters that are around Batman's orbit, and because we can't show him, we have to take him away. We have take him out of commission where you have like Birds of Prey back in the day where Batman just up and just told Gotham to kick rocks. Uh, Batwoman, again, Batman just told Gotham to kick rocks. And in this, in Titans, we have something happen where Batman goes to extreme measures to deal with the Joker. Maybe finally what he should have done a long time ago, coming to the realization that, which some people have talked about, and maybe some stories have examined, that maybe he allows the Joker to be the Joker and exist because he needs... He needs the Joker as much as the Joker needs Batman to exist, to define their existence. Batman decides to take things to the extreme um, and, again, says, tells Dick to be a better Batman. He tells Gotham to kick rocks and he's out. Uh, will he come back? Who knows? Um, and that's, it's just some, it's a reality that we have to deal with, though I do, I'm not a huge fan of that, about kneecapping Batman emotionally. 
Um, but it is what it is. Um, I do like the confrontation between Barbara and Batman and just, or Barbara and Bruce and her kind of bringing things uh, to bear. Dick stumbling on the fact that Batman was about to, you know, Bruce was about to replace, you know, replace Jason already. And then you saw a little like Easter eggs with uh, the other Robins like Stephanie and Carrie and Duke and, and stuff like that. So I thought that was cool. Jason being into some chemistry stuff. He's apparently he was inhaling a drug or something that he was manufacturing. Maybe it helped him process his issues with getting thrown off a building. Um, so that was be interesting to kind of see where that goes. That leads to him actually coming back to life because they well, full on said he was dead and he was buried. So it'll be interesting to kind of see how they go about bringing him back to life in this. And of course, we had the reactions from the other Titans members and uh, Corey just kind of telling uh, Connor and uh, Gar to kind of evolve and to kind of grow because Jason didn't grow. He like. Went off by himself unfair by Deathstroke, got his butt kicked. Went off unfair against, you know, by himself unfair Joker, gets killed. Um, she's telling them to kind of be better, to be, to, to be, to evolve. So it'd be interesting to see how that plays out. She already had Beast Boy kind of feel some type of way after he doesn't get asked for an autograph that he needs to do something better and, and bigger as Beast Boy um, to kind of make himself stand out. So it'd be interesting to kind of see if he maybe puts himself in some situations to like kind of like Jason prove himself to the rest of his team uh, so it's kind of interesting to see how that plays out we know Scarecrow is going to be involved in things he's going to be like some sort of consultant or GCPD so does he know anything about the drugs and that's where is he involved with the drugs who knows remains to be seen all in all I think this was a a good episode we got some costume in costume action a little bit of it that's one of the things I was bagging on past seasons for just wasn't enough of that um, you see the real consequences, um, to this, you know, war on crime and stuff like that. We get to see Tim Drake and kind of, he's a, you know, Batman fanboy. Um, interesting to see if he progresses to actually becoming Robin in this, who knows? Um, there might just not be enough room for him because it's, it's just already just a cluttered cast. And, and, and it's another big issue of mine. It's just, it's bloated because I talk about the Flash being bloated all the time. Titans is bloated. So bringing in, again, Tim Drake, such a strong character that's is so important, so central to the Bat Family thing that's going on. It's just, what are they going to do with him? How's this going to mesh well? And just the fact that it's like so steeped in Bat stuff and in Gotham, but it's supposed to be a Titan show. I've seen some kind of reviewers and commenters kind of pick on that aspect of it um, as something that they don't like. So, but it, I mean... It is what it is. Um, all in all, I think it was a decent, good episode, decent premiere. I'm gonna watch the other two and just handle them individually. So it remains to be seen how things play out. But anyway, those are some of my thoughts on it, scattered as they often are. What do you guys out there think? Let me know in the comments below. Follow me on social media. Talk to me there, talk to me here. And of course, MPX this weekend. Best team, best champs, best picture, doing what we do. Uh, catch it in person, on the network. Anyway, until next time, let us keep.